Ready? Yes, sir. Um, well, um, I know a lot of you have probably heard the phrase, if you have nothing good to say, you don't say anything at all, which brings me to what my quote here today said it means, I mean, it says, never look down on anybody unless you're helping them up. And it was by um, Jesse Jackson. Um, I guess mainly what he's saying is, you have no right to judge anyone unless you're helping to fix on um, what you're judging. So I guess it's like to keep people up, you know, to lift everyone's spirit, lift the person's spirit, don't always hold someone down. And like um, how people like talk bad about somebody, it's like if you don't know a person and you see something, you'll judge them by what you see instead of getting to know that person. A lot of people have the, have the times like where they'll talk dirty behind your back and they don't even know you instead of just coming and tell a person about a problem like in a nice way, they'll say it behind your back in like a mean way around their friends. I mean, everyone has their ups and downs. Everybody has a, a way when they uh, when they talk to a person, a certain specific person, and talk about another person. Like if someone has a problem, you never know what someone's going through, and you never know what can happen. And you can say something and you can drive that person crazy or make them sad. And, uh, All right, I, I like the quote to introduce the quote. That was fine. I'm glad that you had that handy. Um, you've got a, a pretty straightforward agreement with the thesis, so that's easy to pick out. There's not really a structure or an organizational plan that's given. You kind of just dive into making the uh, examples that you're going to talk about. And uh, there, there's a couple of good illustrations. They, they sort of stay abstract. Um, I think it would help if you had a particular story uh, that you could relate to or an experience that you could talk about it from a personal way. I think that that would make it a little bit more engaging and would also give you a chance to talk a little bit more and uh, connect with the audience as a consequence. Uh, the presentation issues, your voice projects well. Uh, I think you could use a little bit more variety in the energy level though in the inflection because sometimes it just sounds uh, a little, I don't, not quite a monotone because you do have variety in your voice but it just seems like it could use a little bit of pick-me-up or injection of uh, 
uh, interest on occasion, and, and I think you need to try it and, and be a little more animated as a result. It, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, for the amount of time that you spoke, I think everything seemed like it was flowing pretty smoothly. Uh, you've got a couple of indicators, but it doesn't seem like you were uh, overly engaged in what's going on. Same sort of thing with your facial expressions. I think you've got a sincere expression on your face when you're talking to us, but again, I think you could do a little bit more to engage the audience. Your eye contact is pretty solid, and so I'm not sure why you, you're not also adding a little bit more um, personal involvement and variety in your expression. Uh, your, your posture is fine. By the way, I give you extra points. Thank you for taking off the hat. I appreciated that. Um, I didn't think that there was any anxiety issue that was going on that was problematic. At the end of the speech, you know, I think that you did the right thing. Sometimes if you don't have something more to say and you've said your piece, don't stand there and struggle. Just make your point again. Remind us what it was you were trying to say and end gracefully. And the, the grace of the ending is often the better impression to leave with people than you know, some other you know, uh, idea that you just kept rambling on about. Thank you.